Hi, uh, I'm Sam Eshima, and this is our Lunar Lander mock-up, funded by Lockheed Martin. And um, yeah, let's go into a tour of this uh, mock-up. So what we're doing here is that we're building a actual mock-up of the Lunar Lander that Lockheed is designing, and what we're trying to do here is perform human factors testing and look at you know if like the displaced locations are is like adequate enough or if we have enough ha habitable volume so that the astronauts can perform their um, assigned tasks. So we're evaluating all, we are evaluating all these um, mock-up parameters and then we're giving feedback to Lockheed so that they can actually you know optimize the design that they have right now. So if we go into the mock-up. So as you can see, we have two spacesuits. This actually um, uh, works really well. Really well. Um, we have a liquid cooling garment so that when you're in the suit, it cools yourself on, cools yourself, and then you, have to, you actually have ventilation in the suit. So it looks, it feels like you're in an actual spacesuit. And so during the human factor testing, you actually don the suit, put your helmet on. We you actually, you actually have some simulation that we can perform lunar landing, and then with with all of that, we actually do some EVA outside the habitat, and then um, yeah, do a lot of the activities to evaluate this um, mock-up uh, designed by uh, Lockheed. Hey everyone, um, my name is Farah. Uh, I'm working on uh, I'm doing some work with this thermal vacuum chamber uh, called Ralphie. So we use this for testing a variety of equipment. Uh, right now, we're testing uh, multi-layer insulation for spacecraft. So. What this chamber is able to do, normally we would have two liquid nitrogen cylinders right here, and they would help to cool the chamber down to minus 150C. Uh, we're able to pump the pressure down to less than one microtor, and our insulation is inside there, and we're testing its performance by heating up the insulation and uh, testing how well it rejects or maintains the heat uh, throughout spacecraft, to, or, sorry. Uh, space flight condition. Okay, hi again. So this is Acre. This is actually the uh, hardware that I'm using for my research. This is mainly used for evaluating um, a lot of equus related technologies. So for instance, uh, CO2 removal for, the, for any habitat. So what this uh, hardware does is that this provides a uh, controlled gas flow. So we can provide pretty much any kind of uh, gas flow that we want. First, so for instance, we can um, provide a controlled floor with, uh, flow with you know, a certain amount of CO2 and then nitrogen and then humidity. So we can control all those flow, send it to the equipment that we want to test, and then um, basically evaluate those um, technologies, how well it, how well it performs. And um, what I'm doing right now for my research is we are trying to create a faulty component condition and attach it to this uh, hardware, then test what kind of um, symptoms it shows compared to nominal conditions and off-nominal conditions. And what we're trying to do with that is we're trying to use AI and machine learning technologies so that it can um, distinguish like what the uh, nominal condition and off-nominal condition is and during um, ECOS operations. This is the hub. It contains a human eccentric rotator device, which is a short range centrifuge. It's currently being used to study the effects of artificial gravity and to look at perception of your motions. All right, this room contains the tilt translation sled, or the TTS, um, it was given, us to, given to us by NASA's Johnson Space Center. Um, with this device, we're, we're able to move people and translate people until people have very fine degrees of accuracy. So, by strapping people inside here, we can test their vestibular perception um, and motor control abilities. A lot of us are using this to test sort of emerging technologies and things like that that may someday be used by military pilots or astronauts. Welcome! The Human Research Lab, or HRL, is one of the bioastronautics research labs. This space focuses on understanding the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body and developing technologies that can help astronauts be happy, healthy, and productive. Monitoring astronauts' physiological and psychological health is important while they work in isolated, confined environments. The HRL features the capability to construct 
and evaluate wearable sensors for this purpose. We have an industrial sewing machine, two smaller sewing machines that aren't shown here, an overlock machine, and access to an automated room, and many different types of traditional and conductive materials for rapid prototyping of wearable sensors. Our in-house developed wearable sensors are evaluated against a biopack system which can measure a number of physiological signals. Research in the HRL also focuses on making spacesuits safer and more comfortable. In-suit measurement units are being developed to understand how the, move, how the human moves inside the spacesuit. In addition, we also design and construct novel prototype spacesuit components to improve fit and comfort. For example, we have constructed a mechanical counterpressure glove and are currently designing planetary spacesuit boot prototypes to allow better fit and comfort. Our multifunctional glove box allows for testing of prototype spacesuit components by pulling the vacuum inside the chamber. In addition, it can be used to create a positive pressure configuration in the glove box. The positive pressure on the lower body helps push fluid into the upper body and head simulating the microgravity fluid shift. This fluid shift can create a positive pressure in the head, potentially causing problems for the eyes, among other things. We can simulate this phenomenon with the tilt table, which can hold people at a head down tilt to simulate the fluid shift in the lab. Current research projects in the HRL are investigating the effects of this fluid shift on the eyes, by both using the glove box and the tilt table. This part of the lab is kept as clear as possible to allow space for our alternative reality systems, such as virtual reality, hybrid reality, and augmented reality systems. These systems are used to simulate spacecraft habitats and extravehicular activity missions. Studies in these uh, space have evaluated the use of technologies for spacecraft habitat design, spacecraft mission training, and guidance during extravehicular tasks. This is our audiometry lab. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would an aerospace program care about audiometry or a sound booth? While space itself is uh, not a noisy environment, the ISS is. ISS equipment produces a constant humming through critical hardware like fans, which can be a stressor to the astronauts. The sound booth can help provide a quiet environment to measure and observe the acoustics of spaceflight hardware to prevent creating excessively noisy equipment. Currently, we are using the sound booth for perceptual threshold testing or the stimulus magnitude you can reliably detect. Kind of think how quiet of a sound you can actually hear. 